If you want to see the materials that I use for bullet journaling and what I keep in my pencil case, then keep on watching. Pencils. I don't get any special kind of pencils just for bullet journaling because I tend not to draw anything too complicated. I know other people that make really elaborate and kind of complex drawings in their bullet journals, so maybe they'll want to get more artist type pencils, but I actually just get a regular mechanical pencil like the Papermate one I have right here. It's 07 lead because I tend to break lead that's any thinner than this. I just have a really rough hand when I'm writing. So I tend to get this one with the 07 lead, but 05 lead I've heard works really well too. I just wouldn't get too thin because it's breakable and also not too thick because the lines will look really hard. And then when you go over them in pen, then it'll be really hard to erase the pencil underneath if the lead is too thick. And you may not think you need a pencil at all, but I actually do everything in pencil before I do anything in pen and you should just do it in pencil first because it's much more likely to end up exactly the way you want. A ruler. So I like to use a ruler and you might think, oh, well, the bullet journal has the dots so I can just follow those and line will be straight. No, trust me, <laughs> I've learned that the hard way. And whenever I try to just follow the lines in the bullet journal, it doesn't end up the way I want it at all. And then I just end up being mad because it's messy or I try to fix the mistakes. It just, it just doesn't work out. So I definitely recommend getting a ruler if you are going to be doing bullet journaling. Pens. Pens are so important in the world of bullet journaling because you need them for basically every aspect, like writing the titles and drawing out the outlines of your weekly spreads and calendars, things like that. Basically, filling everything in in your bullet journal requires pens. So I'm so excited to show you guys the pens that I use and that I love. The pens that I use are the Faber-Castell 4 Pit Artist Pens in the color black. I really like these pens because they weren't that expensive. They were only $13 and there's a lot of variety and they are really, really good for bullet journaling. They also don't bleed which is really, really nice, especially for being black pens. They're just so useful for every aspect. First up is the super fine size with the letter S on it. And this pen I mainly use for when I need to write really small or I need to do really thin outlines. And I'll show you what I use it for in my bullet journal. So this is just one example. These are my habit checkers. And as you can see, the numbers are really, really small. They have to fit in one box. So with a bigger pen, it would probably look a lot messier, but with the really small pen, it actually looks very nice and very clean. So that's what I use that pen for. Next up is the fine pen. And I really like this pen because I can use it for a lot of my writing because the super fine pen I use for the really small writing like I showed you guys, but the fine pen I actually use for most of the writing my bullet journal where I write out my schedule for the day and write out my gratitude log and all the other things I have to actually write out, I use the fine pen for because in my opinion, it's easiest to control and also looks really nice, not too thick. Next is the medium pen. It looks really nice when I use it for outlines and other things like that. I use it for most of the outlines in my bullet journal. Again, showing you my habit tracker. The outline on here is done with the medium pen while the inside writing is done with the super fine pen. So it's really useful and that's why I really like these pens because they provide a lot of variety and so you don't just have to use one pen for every single thing. The last pen in the Faber-Castell pens is the brush pen and this one's really fun. I use this a lot in my titles such as for my gratitude log, as you guys can see here. And I really like the brush pen. I just think it's really fun to work with. So I think it's really cool for bullet journaling because bullet journals aren't that big and you don't need a huge brush pen at all to write big letters or anything like that. So a smaller brush pen is actually really useful. So I really like this one. I thought I would also show you the pens I used before I got these ones and that my sister uses right now, which are the Prismacolor Premier Hand Lettering Advanced Set 
pens and that's what they look like so as you can see there's really thin pens as well as really thick ones so i think they're really nice for bullet journaling and they only costed twenty dollars so that's pretty good and this also comes with two pencils and a clay eraser so that's just really useful for bullet journaling and other hand lettering projects so i thought they deserved an honorable mention although i find pens to be pretty fun a bullet journal would be pretty boring without i decided to use crayola super tips i'll put those up on the screen so you guys can see if you haven't before and I really love Crayola Super Tips for many reasons. They were only $7 at Target, which is pretty good for 50 markers. And they also have 50 really nice colors. They are also really thin, so they fit really well in a pencil case, which I definitely need when I take them places. And they don't bleed through the paper. I think having colorful markers is very, very necessary for bullet journaling because you need them for so many aspects of bullet journaling, such as mood trackers. This is my one from July. I am so proud of it. So the different moods are these different colors here. And then her tail is filled in with all of my moods from the month. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it just makes it more visually pleasing. Washi tape. I honestly had no idea what washi tape was before I started bullet journaling, but now I love it so much. It's also so easy to use because it doesn't have to look perfect. You just rip it off and place it wherever you want it, and it just looks so cute. For this month, I have a cactus theme in my bullet journal, as you might have seen earlier. So these are the two washi tapes I have. I really like these because even though they don't have cacti on them, they relate because they are the same colors as the cacti in my bullet journal and they're just really cute and since I already had a lot of cactus stickers, I didn't really feel the need to get cactus washi tape so these worked perfectly. Stickers! I love stickers so much! They're like my favorite part of bullet journaling. I know, I'm like way too excited about stickers. I'm sorry, that's just like the five-year-old in me. I love using stickers because just like washi tape, they add a little extra element of fun into my bullet journal and make it so cute. And depending on the theme, sometimes I'll buy a lot of stickers for my bullet journal theme that month, or I won't buy any. It kind of just depends. It honestly depends on the month and what you want for your bullet journal. I just really love stickers. So now I thought I'd show you guys what I keep in the pencil case at all times wherever I bring my bullet journal. So first is the pencil, and even though I don't need this too much because everything is already drawn out in pen, I like to keep it in there anyway in case I want to make other doodles or plan things out, things like that. Next, I have three of the four Faber-Castell pens, and I don't keep the brush pen because I just don't need it during the month as I already wrote all of the titles and things like that that I need. And I keep the other three because the other three can be used for writing, depending on what I'm writing. If I'm writing such as in my gratitude log where the writing needs to be a little smaller, then I use the super fine pen. Or if I'm writing in my weekly goals, I can use a thicker pen like the medium one. Next, I just keep a regular black ballpoint pen because sometimes I'm really rushing and I don't want to get my nice pens out and mess them up. So I write something really quick with my ballpoint pen, some really quick notes or something to remember, things like that I use this for. Next, I have my Crayola Super Tips for the month. These are the four colors I am using. I have a cactus theme, as you guys have heard already. And so these colors look like what's on the cactus, and these are the other little lotuses and other flowers that are on the cacti. And I think they're really cute, and they just kind of all go together really well. So lastly, but certainly not least, I thought I'd tell you guys about my pencil case. I love my pencil case so much. It is so cute. It has these super cute bees on the outside. They look so happy. And then it also has bees on the inside and they're sparkly, so that's really cool. And I love this one because I can chain it to my backpack or water bottle or whatever I need and it's super convenient. And also, since uh, the bottom is shaped like a triangle, I can fold it and actually stand it up on my desk or any other surface. It also has this pocket in the front 
and I just think that's really cool. If I wanted, I could put my washi tape in there or erasers, that would be nice to put in there too. It goes flat when you zip it up, which is really nice. It's not all bulky. This pencil case is by CK Design Treasures. So that's their store on Etsy. And I just love it so much. I really hope you guys benefited from hearing about the materials I use for my bullet journal. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any more questions or what you'd like to see from me next. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.